नमस्ते मुझे नमस्ते थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग मी दिस ऑपरचुनिटी ऑफ मास्टरिंग द करेज टू स्टैंड बिफोर यू आई हैव बीन फूल्ड अ लॉट बाय दिस फेक पुलिसमैन फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम यस एंड आई हैव कॉट हिम यू कॉट हिम ओके व्हाट यू गोइंग टू डू विद हिम आई एम गोइंग टू जस्ट किल हिम Yes. <laughs> okay. It has uh, me a lot. Uh huh. It has drowned me in the in unending, never-ending struggle of roles, characters, and I took everything so seriously. It has fooled me so nicely. Mm. So you should get an award, no? <laughs> and then you kill him after that i want to say something because this is a very um, understandable reaction no um but supposing because as i said the mind in its psychological approach to you to deceive and to to you know cunningly distract you or so so to speak no Is there anything good about it or not? Yes. Let me carry on. In the sense that mm, it can only attack or intimidate the idea you have of who you are, your self-image. It cannot attack and transcend what you truly are because what you truly are is pure awareness it has no second it has no competitor you see uh, the devil as we say is no match for god you know it's not like you know this god and the devil the devil is something much much lower god means supreme consciousness so if this force which we call the mind has a certain range within which it can operate and that range is when the consciousness that is appearing in human aspect yeah believes itself uh, to be the person it thinks itself to be yes and um uh, the dreamer the pr- pursuing things which are perishable thinking itself to be great thinking itself to be nothing all of these things that we go through isn't there a place for the mind the mind is going to keep biting at this one no you're not good enough you're not this you're not that he bites 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 and its biting compels you to go to higher ground where you are free from his molestation higher ground means to become in such a way to a place where you are above and beyond the range of his attack and that place can only be your true self then would you prefer if in the state of personhood a state of delusion there was nothing to threaten it so you would just continue living in your dreams and your delusions and there's nothing to challenge that you see where i'm going with that so to some extent the mind is uh, is not trying to help you that's not his role hmm? he is trying to defeat you as for as long as you take yourself seriously as a person and it's very smart yes yeah it's very smart very smart but muji i want to clarify something from you this is my third season uh, here yes. although i spent short durations but every time when i went back from here a storm a tornado just hit my life all three times all two times this time is yet to see <laughs> but all my detachments or attachments i would say my attachments were challenged and with your help and of course my husband's help i stabilized in that state and 
I could see myself taking that decision, okay, this needs to be detached enough. What needs to be detached? The relationships, the very close relationships. The storm was blowing against that or against the truth? It was blowing against that. Yes. We must understand something now, because very often when uh, a great m moment of seeing, some profound seeing take place of this nature, I often, you may have heard me say, a storm is coming. What is this storm? To test your seeing, it's going to come. And uh, we often experience like, whoa, it's like, you know, something is compelling you to act from the person, to live from the person, to feel attacked as the person, you see? But you have to remember, but uh, even the strongest storm is still only a movement in the unmoving awareness itself. And can anything be so strong that it blows away not just your conviction, but your proof of seeing? And that's how you will be tested. Otherwise, maybe you leave and you just become a bit complacent. I've done it. Top of the world. But something comes and shakes your this mighty oak is shaking. Branches are breaking off like this. So you what is to what's to be done? Maybe something feels now that I've conquered the mind and know I am, that's the end of things. Uh, from now plain sailing. I can book my place in heaven, everything is fine. But somehow the storm comes. And the storm comes what? You may, it's up to you to see that the storm comes to weaken you or to strengthen you. You choose, you see. The storm comes, it's tell you, know, yeah, you didn't really do it, and you know, you're about to lose everything. Everything you have, you are going to lose now. And you say, well, who is it speaking to? What's left of you for the mind to be intimidating? Then he's still showing that perhaps here and there you have your little stash hide out someplace, and he's going to blow those up. You're looking, oh, oh, yeah, and you have a chance to see, ah, yes, this can be seen. You see? And in the earlier talk we had just now, Something got left out. I'm reminded of it now. It is like, if you have really seen, why should the mind be coming and this type of thing? And you know, these things are still being, the mind is still coming. Yes, it's fine, the mind is coming. He still has last work to do. He swept the floor, cl the floor clean now. Now, the floor is clean, he's about to dust the mirrors also. Hmm? He has to sort of shake out the curtains and everything. You see? Don't worry about it. Let him stay. He cannot stay longer than you. You are not staying. You are here. He is a visitor. He can only come and go. So like this, you are, you are using all these things to, to clarify just how, how perfect the Self is, actually. It is not… Uh, it doesn't have anything it's attached to to protect attachments. Now, that may sound a bit cold, but you know, my attachments mean that I care. Is there anything caring more for the world, for the universes, than the Self? If we started to dig a hole here with a big machine, and we go right, right down to the centre of this planet, you may find some creature moving there. Do, 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 do. He puts it there and provides also some means through which it can live and enjoy its existence also. How much more taking care of you, who have within you the capacity to introspect and to contemplate, to meditate, to discover, you see? We, as much as we are too much locked into our own self-image, we are blind to the truth of who we are. You know? Something brought you here, and in this environment, is intensely focused on the looking at what we are not, and to try and see what we are. 
I put that to be the, the most auspicious discovery possible in the human kingdom. A human being awake. You see? There have been many, many so called great human beings. You know, Napoleon Bonaparte, Alexander the Great, all these beings. Where are they? What does the world remember? The ones who are awake. Because they are alive by spirit. Uh, the Buddha was uh, 2,500, 600 years ago. Today, uh, there are new Buddhists joining the order. Christ, 2,000 years, 100 years ago. There are still many Christians are coming. The Holy Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad, still more Muslims are coming. Why it is like this? It cannot just be on dry mental teachings. There must be a force inside, a spiritual force, that touches the heart of a human being, and let them flower into that beauty that never fade. That one. That power is in you. That is your true self and your power. And this life is for finding that. And this is what is happening. More and more you are seeing, ah, for so long I thought I was this one, you know, losing and finding and getting and you know, all of these things, accumulating, afraid, trying to protect. And I see that within my own self, not from somewhere else, within the same body, it's flowering a deeper understanding of life. And I feel still, when I've surpassed that old identity, I feel more me. Yes. Like the less you are, the more you are. What a paradox. You, you're a bit afraid, and no, 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 if I take that risk, I'm becoming more empty. I don't want to be empty. And then, but something encourages you, and you somehow find that, oh, more emptiness, and oh, it is so beautiful. Everything is so beautiful. Even why? Because this, whatever this is, is the, the very source of beauty. You see, we value things because we value uh, some things that has quality and so on. That's fine. Nothing is wrong with anything in the world. Paramatman made all of them, no. But to be attached to them. And to feel that they make you better, wiser, that is not true. Yes, by all means we can enjoy. There is beauty. Uh, the, the Supreme has made uh, somehow the world beautiful for the eyes of all those who live on this planet. You see? Not just for human beings. You know, a cow has also some things find beautiful, you know, worms also find some things beautiful, maybe not the same beauty. Also, and so unique also. So all this is not because, look, you know, ah, no, it's not important. You look even at a fly, a fly, the most excellent of, of that's why it's called a fly. He fly is okay. yes. <laughs> He lives on poo. And if you watch a fly, you see him, you know, clean. Look at some things, hardly you can see them with your naked eye. Under a microscope, they are full of colour, iridescent, beautiful. Something is here that says, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And your eyes become more and more able to perceive the beauty when your heart is clean, clean of arrogance and clean of ego, like that. This is happening also by itself. It's happening just sitting here, actually, with open heart, open mind, and somehow seeing how the pointings are resonating somewhere within yourself, and all this is changing. The quality of your perceiving is changing. The, yes. the, the joy inside you is heightening. What are you doing? <coughs> Understanding is the key, also. It shows you your true position. All this trouble is caused by living in the wrong position, believing ourselves to be the, li the limited sense of personhood or ego, when you are also the immensity as the pure self. 
So this we say we come here not just to talk about but to discover and to prove it to ourselves. One last thing I would like to clarify. Like I had a personality which was very expressive and uh, you can say talkative. I used to react to the um, reactions or I used to react very um, eagerly, I would say. Yes. But in last two to three years, I have I have seen myself, or it is seen that I have been transcending. Yes. The topics, the discussions, whether it is in family or in office, they no more pull me, they no more attract me, even if the attack is directly on this body-mind. It doesn't, it doesn't affect. So, I don't, again, I don't, and the more important thing is that I don't feel any lack. That as a, like a patient tells to a doctor about the entire thing so that the doctor can analyze. So I am telling you everything, I don't feel any lack. I'm, like you said, it is addictive to be in this kind of state where you don't need anything. Yeah. But what happens, Muji, is I want to know that in the similar situations where I used to react earlier, and something wrong is being said or done, not to me, mm. in the scene. I am just feeling like withdrawing and not arguing and I just feel disconnected. So is it that, is it the trap of mind? Is it suppression or is everything fine? Everything me? is fine. <laughs> you have outgrown um, some more you know, more aggressive tendencies, uh, because the ego has subsided, you know, the, the reactions have softened, not necessary. There's a detachment in you. So it's like uh, you're not taking things so personally. Yes. Uh, these are great signs, great signs, uh, that uh, the ego defensiveness is melting. There's something much, much more broad than that. It doesn't mean you don't have feelings. It does not mean that. There's some things you will feel, and surprisingly also, sometimes, uh, but your emotions will become uh, purified, not just reactionary. You see? So there's more wisdom, more stability. Yeah? Uh, it's, it's transcended is a good term. It means that you're not so. If you are a very emotional person, people can upset you very easily. They just have to say a certain thing and they just watch. They see how much you, 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 you go off on that one. But now there's a natural distance. It's not even, there, there's not even time to take distance. As it happens, you are already yes. still. Spontaneous. You see, maybe earlier you may find that somebody says something and you feel, <gasps> One, two, three, four. You know? And now, not even this is needed. Not even count back. Uh, they say, and it's like, wow, that's different. I used to, this would, I would not let that pass in the past. Now that's past. Yes. Something is just here. And that is the spaciousness that is the self. Uh, before someone threw a stone, and it's like bang, you blood and uh, now it's like they are throwing a stone from underneath the water. And you're seeing I said, look at that. <laughs> it's very good, it's very good, and it will continue becoming even more uh, refined without any cynicism. Yeah, some something sees that. And uh, it's, I, I can't tell you how great it is. It's very good. It's very good. And you are much more free also. You are more spacious because you would not have liked it when, as someone goes, ping, you go, pong. Tit tat. You know, some people were very sharp. You are, they're not giving you one inch. You do this and you know, that. You see? But, uh, and then they feel good. Feel you know you're not getting on top of me, mate. You know sort of stuff, no. But now you can say yeah, they can do 
something is uh, different. That doesn't mean that there won't be a re- reaction that catches you, but it's okay, it's all right. It's okay, no problem. There's so much more space in you for that. <laughs> yes. So much more space. It is beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Sometimes you look inside, you cannot see where can a reaction come from? Where would anger come from? Who is there to be angry even about that? You may find even that come. But uh, also, this is a living body, a living spirit is inside. But don't make any set or premature conclusions about anything. Because something can feel like this today, tomorrow it feels a bit like this. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay with. Don't try to, you know, control the world. Let it flow. Something is taking care of it, and you move at that level. Very good. Thank you, Mudi Chansparsh. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Some things happen in life that they happen so powerful that you don't have time to learn. Instantly you're changed. Some the impact of some experience is so powerful, you don't have time to grow. Instantly you are changed. But we really will ask for that type of grace. You see? So God in God's wisdom gives it to you. You see? So quick, bang! It's already you're you're in a new fresh place, higher place also. <laughs>